Hi, so this is a video tutorial of a workflow to capture, analyze, and share your student data. We're going to be using Google Forms, a script called Doc Appender, and Google Docs. And really the process here will be that you will start with a form that will simultaneously send data both in an aggregate raw form to a Google spreadsheet and at the same time to a student specific Google Doc which will continually um, update as submissions are created. Getting started we're going to go to your drive and from the drive we need to click New, More, and Google Forms. This is the first product uh, in the workflow that we're going to create. So once, once it loads, the very first thing to do is please name your form. And we're going to name this one Student Documentation. And we're going to do really specific learning skills. You can make this whatever kind of documentation you want. It could be unit-based, um, general, specific. It really is up to you. But the example we're going to do today is for learning skills. Up at the top are some form settings. If you are in a Google Apps for Education environment, you may have a uh, first setting here which requires a school board login. Because it is for teacher specific use and you don't want, probably don't want to log in every time you use it, I would unclick that and you'll get a warning and that's okay. If you're not in a GAF environment, you won't have this option, so not to worry. Um, these other settings are not relevant for our purpose today, so you're going to leave them all blank. Scroll to the very bottom, and you'll see that there are confirmation page settings. We do want a link to be able to submit another response so that when we've entered data for one student, we can click on this and immediately refresh the form. We also want to be able to edit our responses after submitting. Sometimes we submit hastily and we might want to, uh, to edit that. You can go back and edit any time in the spreadsheet, but this is just a quick spot. Okay, so that's our settings. So to get started in the actual form, we are going to today use five questions. Um, the form has different types of questions you can add. For our purpose today, we're going to use text, paragraph, um, multiple choice, and choose from a list. So we're actually going to start with a, uh, um, excuse me, choose from a list question. The first question title is name. We are, however, going to leave name blank right now. The name fields will get auto-populated with the script that we will use later. So we're going to make this required question, however, and we click done. Then we continue to add the questions that we will need. So the next one will be learning skills. And this one we are going to do again as a choose from a list. And these are the six learning skills. In no particular order. However, you can move them later if you wanted them to be alphabetical. I'm just putting them in as I can remember them. <laughs> Okay. If you want to reorganize, you simply click here um, and move them around and you can move them in any order you wish. Again, required and we're going to click done. Our third item will be the learning skill grade. This I'm going to leave as a multiple choice and simply these are your grade levels for each learning skill. Again, required, done. The last two questions we are going to add, the first one is going to be your general comments. And here you'll probably want a paragraph text. It could be short answer, however, paragraph text will, lead, will allow you to add more and see more on the screen. And the last one is something called evidence. Maybe this one is a short text. And I'm going to leave it not required, done. So we have our five questions. Uh, we're going to now come up and change our theme, and this is where you can just make your form pretty, whatever you would like it to be. I'm just going to click this, and you can see now that it's changed to look nice. Okay. We need to now set up the spreadsheet. In order to set up the spreadsheet, you will come up to the toolbar and you'll click View Responses. View Responses will open up a spreadsheet document. It's named the same as the form, and you'll notice that your form inputs are across the top. If you would like to conditionally format your inputs, we would select the column. So we're going to use the grade column D. Come up to Format and Conditional Formatting. You'll then be asked to put in the rules. So 
we want the text is exactly N, and I have it to be pretty visual, so I want my fill color to be red. Okay, and click Done. I can add another rule, and I can say again, if text is exactly S, I would like it to be yellow. You can add as many um, rules as you wish, or none at all. When you've completed it, you'll notice nothing changed on the actual spreadsheet, and that is because we need data before it will change. So the initial workflow is complete. A form submission would be acknowledged, and the data would be aggregated here in the spreadsheet. However, the data that you have here would be every submission um, entered, so all of your students. And this would not be data that would be um, relevant to specific parents. And although you can use your filters to filter for a specific student and only see their line items, um, you cannot share only part of a spreadsheet. It's all or nothing. So what we want to do is be able to have a document that we can share with parents. So we're going to go back to our Google Drive and we are going to create, first of all, a folder. So we're going to call this folder Students Summary Observations. And we're, I'm going to be specific because we are just doing it for learning skills. And click Create. So here's our folder. In our folder now, we are going to create documents. I apologize, my Wi-Fi is taking a while here. So the first thing you'll do is name your document. Now the, the naming is important. You, I would suggest you use a student's name and you might call it their learning skills summary. Okay, and now for each specific student, you will create this document. So I've copied and pasted a description of um, information that will be here. The form will actually input data below and so we're just setting this page up. So I would also suggest that you come in and go to page setup and set it up as landscape and possibly also change your margins so that you have a table um, that will be easier to read. You'll have space for it. What you'll need to do now is copy this document for each and every one of your students. And when it does this, you'll come in and you will have to change the information. If you have any specific information on the document, you will need to change that for each student. So kind of like doing learning skills on your report cards as well, if you are using similar um, information. So as mentioned, you'll need to create this document for all of your students. I've just created four for our use today. Go back to your Google Drive and ensure that when you've made the copies that they've all going in, gone into the folder that you created originally. So we had created this folder and we've made sure that all of these documents are there. Okay, so now we've got our documents, we created our form and our spreadsheet. So we need to go back to our form. We're going to go back to the edit and we need to look at our add-ons. So when you click add-ons, you may or may not have some scripts already here. I already have the one that we need, Doc Appender. But for you to get that, you will go to get add-ons. And when you do, it will bring up the add-ons for forms. Easy way to find it is just to put it in the search. And uh, you will have a blue button here that says plus free. Just click that and it will add it to your list of add-ons. Come back to your add-ons, choose Doc Appender, and choose Open Sidebar. When you do that, you'll get a working button and you will get a sidebar menu here. So we need to create, or excuse me, um, find the document folder. So we're going to pick a folder from our drive, and this is the folder of student documents that we just created. So we called it uh, Student Summary Observations Learning Skills, so that's the one I'm going to uh, select and it's put it here. Now I'm going to click Next and now what we need to do is select the question and we'll need to refresh the list and select the question from which we will pull our documents. Okay, So this is now going to populate 
our question options. So remember earlier I said we're going to leave name blank? Well now that we've populated, if you click here, you will see that it has the titles of the documents that we just created. Okay, so these are our student documents. Make it required. And then we click next. This now is asking what do you want to go on each student's document? Well, I happen to want to know when I did the submission, who it's for, um, the actual learning skill, the grade, comments, and I'm going to include ev evidence. So I want all of it. You can make this whatever you wish. I don't want bulleted lists. I actually want it as a table. So I'm going to change that and then click Enable. So now our workflow is complete. You can close that up and we have a complete workflow. When we have a form submission, it will go both to the spreadsheet and simultaneously stu to the student's document. But you'll notice right now there's nothing here for Michael and that's because there hasn't been any form submission. So we're actually going to do a form submission. So we need to click on view live form. And as you know, this is the link that you will need to share with yourself on different devices in order to access this form. So click here if I want Michael and his learning skills collaboration and maybe Michael's having a really rough day and he needs some extra support. So today Michael um, yelled at his peers um, during their collaborative planning. He needs support to manage his frustration. Okay, We're going to leave evidence blank. I'll just talk about it really briefly. This is so that you could embed or excuse me include a link of an image if you wanted um, to do that. But we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to click Submit. You'll see here I can edit a response or I can submit another. But what I want to show you is the where the data goes. So the data came into our spreadsheet, it's marked conditionally formatted, yellow, or excuse me, red, and simultaneously it also went into his document. So back to our data, our aggregate data, I've put in some more submissions and you can see that all students are listed here and that again, this is not ideal to share with all parents if the only uh, one I want to talk about is Stephen. I could put on the filters and by doing that uh, when I select the entire sheet and I select my filters, it'll allow me to filter each column. I could clear and I could say I only want to see Steven. And now I would only see Stevens. However, if I shared this with a parent digitally, they would have access to all of the aggregate data. So instead, what I would prefer to do is share this document, which has only Steven's data in it. Um, and all of the form submissions. This document will continue to evolve as I include additional submissions through the form. And that's how you have it. So we created our form, we have the aggregate data going into our spreadsheet, and we have student-specific documents that can then be shared with parents or other instructional staff as necessary. Feel free to share this tutorial with your family and friends <laughs> and have fun documenting.